Hello friends, welcome and uh, <coughs> this is our 8th session. In this session, right, we're going to discuss about uh, the file permissions uh, as well as in the next video, we're going to talk about the uh, folder permissions in Linux. Okay, so before we proceed, right, uh, <coughs> what I want to show you is, so right now I'm in the root, right, uh, let me go into the temp folder. If you see, I'm going to CD into the temp folder. So here I'm going to create a file. So before that one, if I type ll right, so you are you are seeing some files actually. So let's do one thing. Let's create a file uh, using a nano because we discussed about nano and VA editor in the last class. So I'm going to create a nano. I'm going to say like a test file or file test file one, and I'm going to put some data. Hello, this is a <coughs> test file control o enter control x right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove <coughs> uh, or, or okay so if i going to put ll right now so you have a lot of unnecessary things so i'll say if i want to remove this file so rm hyphen f i'm going to see i'll put dot and star because I can see like dot x11 unix x11 unix a lot of files are there in temporary which I don't want if I put rf space I have enough like force uh, st dot and star anything any file which starts with uh, dot right it should be deleted actually okay now what it is saying is uh, we have some folders so what I can do rm <coughs> hyphen rf and dot so it is saying it is skipping but uh, it should be deleted okay right if you see it's deleted a few and rm hyphen rf i'm also <coughs> delete this so if you see i have only one file now let me create one more file so i'll say cp test file 2 so right now i have two files so test file 1 and test file 2 and on the left side what I want you to do is check it out this one so you have these permissions and you have a dash at the starting whenever you find a dash or a hyphen or a minus sign at the starting then it is actually a file if I create a folder for example if I say uh, mkdir folder 1 if I type ll you can see that it is having a D in the start that means it's a directory you can also have a L actually which is called link but it's not that important okay so if you have a D it's a directory as well or a folder if it is a hyphen uh, it is a file okay now if you see there are uh, there are different parts in this one I'm going to copy this okay so since we are going to talk about the file permissions I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open a folder and I'm going to place this here now here there are actually totally four parts uh, the first one is either it is a file or a folder and you have this part you have this part I have this part now in a file right you have three types of permissions okay you have read you have write and you have execute I know uh, so it is execute but I just giving uh, there is a reason which I gave execute because we actually call it as simply rwx which which uh, corresponds to read write and execute now on a file write you can give either read permission or a write permission or a execute permission okay so these are divided into something like uh, you can put like uh, four the numbering is given like this four the numbering is given to <coughs> two and the number is giving to one okay so we're going to use this numbering system while assigning the permissions before going to that one okay so I'm going to remove this hyphen because this is a file so it's fine these three permissions who are having these permissions okay now this first permission is there right so I'm going to give something like this okay so I'm going to give this is the first permission one this is the second permission and this is a third permission right now the first permission always corresponds to owner okay fine what do you meant by owner who exactly is owner the person who actually creates or the user who creates this file is the owner let me show you if I type LL you are seeing two things one is root and the second one is root so what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit this when I exit this I'll go to the Ubuntu user again I'll go into the temp <coughs> 
so if you see I can see the files the reason I'm going to the temp and doing this one because the Ubuntu user will not be able to create uh, in other other directories because of the lack of permission okay so that's why I'm going to again copy I'm going to say test file 1 to test file 3 okay if I type LL now you can clearly see for test file 1 and 2 it is the root the left side this one is the owner actually you can see the owner as well as for the test file 3 it is Ubuntu so the person who creates the file right will be the default owner of the file and it will be the first place this is the first place the second place goes to the owner group actually because every user will be part of a group actually this is the group actually okay this is the group so that's why uh, what I can say like when you create uh, every, every every time you create a user I think I think cat etc <coughs> groups or I think group yeah so if I type cat etc group right you can find all the groups in this system and what I want is you see there is a group for Ubuntu as well let's create a user I'll say user add hyphen M okay I'm going to see like a uh, rock star for example as a user okay uh, okay so if you see I'm getting a error because uh, the Ubuntu user don't have permission I can overcome by simply giving a sudo before that means super user do that means I'm making uh, I, ca I can do that using the root permissions so if you see now it's created how can I find it out etc and password if you go here and I'm going to grab hyphen I rocks or simply if I go to etc password is as well it will show see the rockstar is created and if I go to groups right similarly cat etc group right I should also see rockstar at the bottom so whenever you create a user by default it will also create with the same name a group as well that is why whenever you create a file it will assign that user as a owner here as well as a group also here okay now the second permissions will be corresponding to this group actually so the first permission is this one that means this read write and uh, is this hyphen is there right that is uh, Ubuntu which is which is the owner as well as second read write I mean this one second block is this one and the last one is others actually that means anyone so let me come here I'm going to say uh, owner group owner group whereas the third and final one is actually belong to the others that means any anyone in the system actually so let's check it out if I don't give permissions okay let, let's create a file by root okay I'll go to sudo <coughs> if I type ll oh sorry I go to temp so if I type this one now here the permissions right if you see here so the test file one has read write and hyphen actually so most of the files you really don't last one will be the hyphen because it is the execute permission if I want to give execute execute is only used for uh, script files actually if you run any scripting file you need to give to that one okay so what we need to do is if I want to assign uh, for, uh, for example only permission to only to the root actually so what I can do is simply I can ch mod right now anybody can read this file right so if see uh, I'm actually cat and a test file one I can read because I'm the owner of the file so if I go to if I exit it I'll go back to Ubuntu if I try to cat and test file fine test file one sorry I can also read why because everyone has an axis root sorry owner who is the root uh, who is the root and owner group which is having a read and others also having a read permission so f imagine I really don't want uh, the Ubuntu can should read this one I want to avoid Ubuntu or any as a matter of fact any other user should not read it only root and uh, not even root user group also should not be reading this file so what I can do I'm going to temp okay so here I'm going to give ch mod okay so I told you 4 is for read write write is for 2 1 is for execute so what I can do is I'm going to give for example 600 
so where I'm giving I'm giving it the, f the here it, this one so that means 600 means in this case here 600 means it is 6 at the owner here 0 at the group and 0 at the others that means I'm simply giving the owner of the file read and write but I'm removing all the f all the permissions for owner group and others then what will happen this will become something like this hyphen 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 that means there is no permissions how can I get to the six one read is four write is six then it's sorry read is four write is two combining both it's a six okay so what I can do I'll give ch mod so before that one if I type ll you can see test file one is having this right so I'm going to put ZH mod 600 test file one so if I go into that now you can see only the owner will have read write permission remaining everything has no everyone has no permission now what I'm going to do I'm going to exit this and I'm going to okay Ubuntu now if I try to read the file as you see I don't have any permissions here if I go to cat and try to read this file right what will happen this will happen so permission denied this is how you can manage the permissions so for example if I want to give uh, only the other root and the others not the root group right so I want to give read permission for I want to give read permission for uh, others and read writer owner nothing for root group that means read is 4 right this should become 604 so what I can do I can again <coughs> use the sudo command because I don't need to go to the root again so ch mod so before that one if you see there is no permission for the root check it out so ch mod you can need to use the sudo because you can't really change the permission as a user check it out 604 if I say uh, test file one right will say permission denied you can't do that because you are a user so what I can do I can add sudo here and it's changed now it will be check it out so test file one has read write for owner owner group has nothing whereas test file one has a read permission for Ubuntu if you try to read now see this I'm able to read that so in this way we can actually give the permissions for it Linux Linux file system I mean Linux files actually the and what about this execute permission see I can actually give ch mod if I give 700 and I need to use sudo by the way sudo ch mod 700 test file 1 okay and if I check it out check it out what will happen is it there is a star mark saying that one this is a script file and I have removed the access uh, so how to access a script file you need to put like this so it won't work basically because there is no extension but how to create a uh, script file is so I'm going to say nano hello.sh okay uh, hello.sh so I go inside so the, we're going to talk about script files later but this is an example you need to give the shebang that means uh, the pound symbol as well as exclamatory symbol is called shebang give bash and I'm going to give echo this is a Linux Linux class video I'm going to give something like this now if right now if you see so hello.sh is just a file it is not having any sort of execution permissions if you try to if you execute you need to execute something like this you can use hello.sh it's saying nothing so because it's it, it's not permission denied uh, it's permission denied because you can't execute this because there is not execute permission you can also try even this one as well okay okay so because you need to give even the root don't have the execution permission right that's why so what I'm going to do <coughs> I can also do like this bash hello.sh also so if you see if I give the bash it is working okay otherwise I need to give if I don't give bash it won't work guys let me tell you 
hello dot it won't even work anything actually so how what I'm going to do I need to give ch mod execution permission 7 or 7 7 don't ever give this permission because right now if you see the permission is only read write read read everything no one has execution if I give ch mod 7 7 7 that means you are actually adding read write and execute which is 7 7 7 7 and I'm going to give hello.sh now it will be changed check it out so hello.sh is in green and it has a star mark that means it's a script file so what I can do I can give star slash he and tab hello this is how you can give the execution permissions you should be very careful about the execution permissions because it will execute the scripts and it can damage the system okay so it's, it's, it's not recommended to give uh, always 777 if you give 777 that means any person in this uh, machine can execute any script that's the powerful of giving a 7 at the last so be very careful on that one okay so this is how we're going to create the permissions using something like this there is also another way of giving permissions to the files which we're going to talk in the next video okay thank you so much thanks for watching see you in next video guys okay bye bye